Hey, what's going on? Travis Patel here. In this crushing e-commerce video, I'm going to show you how we're going to set up our first product listing and get that a collection started so that we can have the sales process completed, ready for us to start sending some traffic that way and make some money. So here we are in the Shopify dashboard and we simply need to go into the products area. Now here we can have products inventory. If we have our own inventory, we can keep track of how much is there. Uh, gift cards, if you want to sell those on the site or give them away as special. And then collections is how you can categorize your products so that when you have one certain product, it'll show related products that the buyer might be interested in as well. So we're just going to start off with listing our first product. We're going to click add product. Now, earlier in the research video, we saw a cool eBay listing here of some gr uh, trimming uh, beard trimmer here for only $13.49. It's got very popular, it's sold a lot, high positive feedback, no free shipping. So it's coming from the United States. So this is a good item for us to do a little arbitrage to get things started. Remember when we're just starting, we're gonna have the, the products kind of like t-shirts, mugs, cell phone covers, necklaces, because we can create them very quickly. Or we're also gonna have the things we can arbitrage and drop ship until we find our winners and the things that make us money. And then we can start doing the, the private labeling and the manufacturing so that we make those bigger margins and create our own brand. So right now we're just gonna go ahead and use this one, the wall beard trimmer. So this is what they're going to get in the mail here. So we're gonna go ahead and save these images. Trimmer one JPEG. We'll go ahead and just grab this one too. Trimmer two JPEG. And then if you had, you know, if you had one yourself, you could uh, be using it and have a person actually using the trimmer. That's another picture angle to try. So let's go ahead. It's a WHAHL wall cordless battery beard mustache nose trimmer. So we don't need to be as specific as keyworded as they are. So we're gonna go wall cordless, wall cordless beard and mustache trimmer. And then we can look at the details of what's included and that's what we'll have into the description here. And we can, you know, pretty it up by having sales language. If we look at the competitor here at Beard Brand, we can see what they have in their description. And they have different, this is cool, just different sections of where they can show the reviews. Here's the specs. So if we're looking here, here's more of the specs of what's going on. Um, and then the description is more just kind of the sales story of how it's going on. And look, I like how they do this. You'll save four dollars to buy these as a package, so it has like a, a two another product that they can add to the cart and save some money. That's a cool little sales tactic. But anyways, thinking about what we're gonna add in the description for now, we're just gonna go ahead and add what we got here. We'll pretty it up later. So product type, we're going to go ahead and call this grooming, trimmers, grooming, vendor, Don Mizuma, or we could even have where it's called, this is actually going to be called a wall vendor. Um, this is another way that people can find different products, we don't have to have that. Collections, we haven't created one yet. Tags, this is how we can associate it. So we're going to go trimmer, grooming. Let's go trimmers. All right, now here's where we can add our images. So that'll be our sales page. That'll be the second. Now the price we pay is 
1349, 1350, no shipping. So we're going to go ahead and price this at 2495. And then that's going to include the 495 as shipping, which is going to bump that up to about $30. We're doubling the cost and making $15 a sale there. No taxes needed. Wait, we'll go one. Variants, if you have different shirts or different types of products, you can add variants. The SEO, we're going to make just this pretty. I guess that's not bad. That works good. Say product. All right, now we have pretty much everything set up to start selling. So let's go ahead and view this product, see what it looks like. That looks pretty dang good, <laughs> if I say so myself. Add to cart. Subscribe. We want something we want to add into here. It would be related products. So it would have other, if we have other products, it would show right here, hopefully, of like other trimmers or oils that go well with this, something so they can add more to the cart. Um, we can make this a prettier story, remember. A mailing list we don't have right now, but we can get that set up. For prospects, let's see what this looks like. All right, that's not too bad. And then we go checkout. Checkout says that you must choose a plan. Oh, we have to pay before someone, we have to actually sign up to a, an account before um, we can do the checkout process. Right now I'm still on just a trial account, so I'll set that up at the end here, get the credit card on file. But we have our first product listing up. Looks freaking great, guys. Next up, what we can do is set up the collections here, which we'll do really quick, which right now we only have a front page collection. Now they, they would show on the front page. What we want to do is have it where it's going to be effective at showing, like I said, those related products that they might purchase as well. So we can go trimmers and grooming supplies would be one collection grooming supplies <clears throat> now collection image uh, automatically select products or manually select we're going to go ahead and we'll click any condition that fits our tags, which we did trimmers, and we also did the tag grooming, so that'll fit there. Collection type, products A to Z, looks good. Um, we'll go ahead and add an image, so let's go ahead, uh, bearded guy with trimmers. How about that? That's a good one. All right, we'll add that in here. Save. And here is our collection thus far. All our collections, not bad. Grooming trimmers. I like it. So we'll just say we could add another product and if it, use any of these tags, it would show up in this collection as well. And on the sales page, if we have the related products set up, it would show, like I said, the related products here as well. Um, so then here it also sends us to the supplies area. So that's a nice little setup. Perfect how we want it. Now we can start actually making some sales after we set up our credit card. So go ahead and move on to the next, set, to the next video and we'll start moving into actually setting some traffic and making some money.